Slashing safety nets, cutting public programs, shrinking life chances and all our chances at clean water. My emails have begun to read like a horror movie script with round the clock slashing. The reason? Democrats and their pals are alarmed about the administration's budget. Sure enough, it's scary. The GOP plans to strip 54 billion from spending on all things human and ecological to increase already massive military spending. The president's plan would boost spending on so-called defense to well over 60 cents of every discretionary dollar in the budget. That's even as Donald Trump himself admits that years of military spending have left the Middle East, quote, far worse than it was 16 or 17 years ago. And let's not forget, when it comes to all this, the U.S. already spends more than the next eight countries. That's China, Russia, Saudi Arabia, France, the U.K., India, Germany, and Japan combined. And all those wars haven't made any of us safer. The U.S. military has a presence in 150 countries. Just how many countries are there? Sounding off one hell of an alarm is right, but let's get one thing clear for all those small government advocates out there, especially the ones that might have voted for Trump, Pence, and be about to lose their drinking water. The administration isn't actually proposing to cut. It's proposing to convert, convert public dollars to private ones by way of shifting them to private corporations with military-related contracts. As economist Michael Hudson lays out in his latest book, governments use so-called national security to subsidize private manufacturing and research. That's to say it's a way to put public money into private hands. Don't like socialism for poor people? You certainly shouldn't like it for rich ones. The companies in question have no motivation to do anything efficiently. The more they charge, the more they profit. And that profit doesn't come back to us, it goes to private shareholders. We'll never know exactly how each defense dollar is spent, because while it's the government's biggest spender, it's the one department that's never audited. And why not? Several U.S. cities, including Charlottesville, Virginia, and New Haven, Connecticut, as well as Montgomery Church County, Maryland, a county of over a million, have passed resolutions opposing the president's proposal to shift 54 billion from humans and the environment to the military industrial complex and calling on Congress to shift all that money in the opposite direction. Your town, city or county could do the same. Worldbeyondwar.org has more information. In the meantime though, don't let the Trump terror turn your head. It's not about cuts, it's about conversions of public dollars to private ones, concentrating power, wealth, and building stockpiles of deadly force that will be felt in our streets and also in our politics. Which takes me back to where I began, I suppose. It is a horror show. Let's stop it.